So a few weeks ago I saw this video of Linus Tech Tips about the AMD Vega. I was pretty worried about it because the performance of this GPU was insane. So first of all, I was doing some research about this card and it had high bandwidth cache. So it's a new concept that you can put virtual uh, RAM, let's say, into the card. So instead of GDDR5 or GDDR5X, they're gonna make a total new idea. So high bandwidth cache is mostly for gaming. So you can go ahead and play games in 4K with 80 FPS with really not too much ease. So I was thinking, how would this card perform in mining? And after some research, I came up with this. So the thing you see here is a GPU architecture roadmap. So they're gonna show you what the progress will be in the future on their GPU. So as you can see, there's a 28 nanometer GPU. That's like the previous cards that we know of. But when this channel started, we had the Polaris GPUs out like the RX 470 and the RX 480. But as you can see, the Vega has new memory. It's called HBM2, high bandwidth memory 2. And that might be the killer of GPU coins. I'm gonna explain you real quickly on how this might go. So you all know that Ethereum had a really uh, difficulty increase when a lot of GPUs came out from the Polaris mod. So we had 2.5 times performance per wattage, so we were able to mine way more and had really high hash rates. So the Vega might turn this out to be even more increased and then it's gonna be really, really difficult to mine. So the Vega is estimated to go ahead and mine at a stunning 40 mega ashes per second, as I read in some forums. And also, we're gonna use about 200 watts. But you all know that the RX 480 was using 150 watts at stock, they said. But that's only if you load it on a video core, but that one isn't loaded. So it was only at about 80 to 120 watts to hit 32 mega ashes per second. So we can assume that this card might use 150 watts at about 40 mega ashes per second or more if someone manages to BIOS mod this card. So also I want to tell you guys this that this is gonna be really bad for Ethereum mining and Zcash, Monero or any GPU mine coin because let's say the Vega comes out and difficulty goes up and Ethereum steps away from proof of work then all those miners will switch to the other three coins and increase their difficulty like uh, let's say 33% but when the Vega comes out and you count those 33% to the other coins, that should be at about 50 to 60% increase of difficulty, so you will make 50% less money. So hopefully that doesn't happen and everything just turns out to be just great and goes on until the very end when we come to the Navy, like next year. But maybe in the next gen memory over there, the Navy, we might expect to have a end of GPU mining. It will be so expensive to get one single coin mined or anything else to make profit. So I think that will be the end, but hopefully it's not. And I think that was it for today. I just wanted to tell you guys this, that I'm a little bit worried about future GPU mining. So I don't suggest to buy too much mining rigs and invest your whole house into it because you might get bankrupt if you do it. So stay cautious don't invest everything you got into it because we don't know how this is going to work out until the vega comes out and ethereum switch to proof of stake so keep that in mind hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one